In this tutorial, I will make an earth zoom effect like this. Visit the website earth.google.com. The original interface looks like this. There are so many location labels, I'll have to turn it off. Click on the arrow, View menu, Layers, select Clean. Place labels are no longer available. Next, I will determine the destination location for the video. I choose Da Nang, Vietnam, because I know this place well and I can easily recognize it even by looking at the globe. My final destination is a small stadium. I chose this corner of the stadium as the center of the whole process. Now I take a screenshot of this map, paste it into Paint, and then save it as an image. I named it 1.png. Next, I place the mouse cursor in the corner of the selected stadium, rolled the mouse to expand the map to a moderate level, then stopped. Continue taking the next photo. Paste it into Paint again and save it as another image. I named it 2.png continue like that. Note that when expanding the map, the cursor is always at the corner of the stadium that I initially selected. Now determining the corner point of the stadium is quite difficult, but I still try to do it accurately. This is why I have to clearly understand the area I want to take images from. So I have seven photos numbered, one to seven. Done. Now I move on to After Effects. Import the seven photos I just acquired into the new project. Create a composition with dimensions 1920, 1080. Duration 20 seconds, although I probably won't use the entire duration. Put all seven photos into Comp 1. Press S to open Scale. Adjust the scale and position of all shapes so that we no longer see the excess parts. Now adjust the anchor point of all the images to the exact position of the stadium corner I originally selected this, of course, we have to do on each image. Try to determine exactly where to place the anchor point. The more accurately you do this step, the easier the next step will be. I have to guess at the far away ones, because it's hard to be exact. So this step is done. Next, I turned on display number 6, reducing the opacity to 50% so that both layers could be seen. Now I zoom in on the layer below until it matches the top. If you choose the anchor point of both photos correctly, it will be very easy for you to determine whether the two maps match or not. Maybe a little deviation is not a problem. Now create a mask on the photo above to get only the inner part of it. Adjust the mask feather to about 100 so the two photos blend together. Adjust the opacity of the image above to 100. And one important thing, 
link the photo below to the photo above. And now I just keep going until the top photo is done. I have connected the photos together. Now I just need to adjust the ratio of the first photo. At first it seems fine, but when the scale gets smaller, the zoom process changes so fast that we can't see it. I want the earth to appear intact before I start moving in. I can't use the slider because the value is too small. I will try each scale value to find the appropriate value. So that's 0.005. Now let me try it out. Of course we can't see the process clearly. Too fast. Still can't see it. I will adjust the zoom speed. Still very fast. And here is my solution. Place another keyframe here, then drag it away to slow down scale's growth rate. It's still fast, so I'll have to pull it out even further. It's close, isn't it?
Okay, I think the speed of the zoom process is okay. Now pay attention to the small details. The Earth has an area that is brighter than usual, which is because the upper layer is displayed at the wrong time. I will adjust the order of displaying the layers to be reasonable. Set the opacity of the upper layers to zero except for the last layer only. I adjust according to the principle that whenever I zoom close to a layer, that layer will slowly appear, so it looks more natural. The rendering process is a bit slow compared to Zoom. It looks OK. Now I'm going to make the Zoom process include rotation all movements now only need to be placed on the first photo. Now the motion blur effect I create an adjustment layer placed on top which will affect all the layers below. CC radial fast blur effect I don't need to adjust the center of the blur because it coincides with the center of the motion. If yours is misaligned, you should adjust it to match. That's it. Thank you for viewing this far. Hope you liked this tutorial. Goodbye.